Because the materials that I use, um, which is like acrylic, um, enamel, and then the rhinestone, it sort of changes the image and makes it seem completely far removed from it being a, a photograph and you appreciate it as a painting. And I think the materials that I work with sort of transform the image itself. Hi, I'm Micheline Thomas. Welcome to my studio in Clinton Hill Navy Yard District of Brooklyn. This is where it all happens. You're getting a sneak peek of a lot of the behind the scenes of a Micheline Thomas work, which is usually rare. Well, Micheline is an artist that works very comfortably with um, photography and video, so she's kind of special in that way that she can use a lot of different disciplines in her work. Um, her main signature is uh, portraits of African American women, and her subjects always radiate kind of a certain sexuality and power, but also um, the subtext is almost always about exploring issues of identity, race, and beauty. This particular area, I'm working on this study for this large painting for my show in Santa Monica. And it's this large painting here. I projected it. It's sort of just like a loose, drawn projection. And I'm going to go back in and sort of redraw the areas that I want. These sort of portraits here are based on how the hair and African-American communities have all of this cultural meaning and just making this hybrid of African hairstyles and then sort of the American versions of these African hairstyles. Um, these are some portraits I'm working on. I like to sort of go back and look at some of my photo resources and start like revisiting the idea and seeing if I can create another image from a resource that I already sort of had. Let me take you over here. This is like one of my favorite parts. I have a really great love for my organization and how my paint is. I have like these crazy names like green carpet or <laughs> shirt dress pink flower, um, MoMA cardboard color for my MoMA painting. So these are all the landscape colors. I keep them because I reuse the colors a lot in my paintings. I did a photo shoot of Naomi Campbell um, last year. I shot her at the Boom Boom Room and so I wanted to sort of do another one. So that's the beginning stage and that's gonna be really awesome. We'll offer it to her first and if not, we'll send it off to someone else. But this is my storage area. This is my other sort of think tank, I like to call it where I do all of my printing for my collages. I make a lot of collages, and so um, my gallery, Lehman Maupin and Rochelle Lehman came up with the idea to sort of present um, my work in pro process. Here we go. I wanted to show some finished collages. So this is sort of my process of um, recomposing the image and my way of drawing. Um, I like to think, in figuring out the space. Actually, this one I've never made a painting of, and I don't think I will. Some of them I don't. Since we've been working with her, we have um, placed um, some of her work in, in some of the most prestigious institutions around the world. Lehman Maupin has placed work with the Whitney and the Guggenheim, and most recently the Smithsonian. My work is about painting, it's about the historical relationships in painting, and so that's a lot of where my inspiration comes from. Aside from all the like sort of glitz and color of the rhinestones, is this sort of relationship of the spectator and the kind of subject, um, and the, that sort of gaze, like who has the gaze, who's sort of in charge of that particular gaze, and it's usually from my point of view, the sitter and not the viewer.